And a very, very good morning to you from a very, very sunny Crawley in uh, Sussex. Um, and in fact, uh, I'm outside Three Bridges Railway Station. Now, um, you may have recently seen uh, a couple of videos of mine uh, taking a walk from Three Bridges to Crawley and also around the town of Crawley. Two separate videos uh, available to look at if you're interested. Um, where I might not have been overly um, complimentary about the merits of walking around this town due to the fact much of it is a bit like you can see now, a, a motorway and there's not too many redeeming features to look at once you are walking around so um, in terms of uh, walking along and getting exercise it's as good a place as any but um, that, that was really my, uh, the points I made and I received one or two comments about that, uh, which is fine and uh, most people tend to agree, it's, uh, it ain't pretty, but it does the job. Uh, so today I'm going to have a, a third go at a little walk around Crawley or on the, the outskirts of Crawley at least anyway and go in the opposite direction from Three Bridges Station to the one I went to before and uh, follow a route provided by the Go Jauntly app, an app I use a lot and I've mentioned quite a few times, um, to a area that I've not walked to before. And uh, for any of you that know Crawley, I'm just walking up, running parallel to the Brighton main line now. And if I kept walking in this direction up next to the railway line, I would eventually arrive in Brighton. So I'm heading south and I'm following the Go Jauntly app. Now, um, on this particular occasion, I need to be back at Three Bridges Station in about an hour and a half's time. So I've put in the app for a 60 minute circular walk and uh, it's come up with this four and a half kilometer little stroll towards Maidenbower. Now I've never been to Maidenbower before. I've got no idea if it's a nice place. It sounds like a nice place. But then again, so does Three Bridges. Um, so let's head on up. Let's see what we see. But again, another great opportunity to get a few steps in, get a bit of exercise, even when the location you're at is not necessarily the greatest. I mean, we're not talking the Peak District here or the Lake District or anything beautiful like that. We're talking a functional town on the outer extremities of London, so you can't expect too much really. But let's uh, see what we see. I know for a fact actually, if you walk up in this, this direction we're going now, uh, you can walk off on the, what was the Worth line towards East Grinstead. It's now um, partly turned into a footpath and cycle track and so on. Uh, disused railway line. I have walked partly along the way there, along there before. Uh, that's just up here. I'll point it out once we get to it. Uh, but this routing given to me by the Go Jauntly app uh, doesn't doesn't send me down there. Surprisingly, I thought it might do. But anyway, uh, we're going straight ahead and a quick look around Maidenbow or near to it at least. Anyway. At least um, if you head off on the road that I was on initially outside of Three Bridges Station, that is, that is not far short of being a motorway. Not the best to walk along. And there are some alternative routes you can take if you walk from Three Bridges Station into Crawley. You don't necessarily need to walk straight along that road, although that would be your shortest and probably quickest route. But uh, if you want something that's slightly less full of traffic and noise, uh, you can deviate off that road slightly. And uh, if you see in one of my my other videos, uh, I did exactly that. Uh, it probably added 15 to 20 minutes onto the walk time between Three Bridges Station and Crawley. But it was it was an awful lot better than. Uh, had I stayed on that road so it's uh, you know you can improve your lot and if your aim for having a, a period of time where you've got nothing to do 
or you're on a break or you need to just kill time and you want to grab a bit of exercise then why not it's a nice warm day today actually I'll hopefully pass some sort of shop along the way so I can grab a cool drink because I don't currently have one with me it's the railway line just over there Now, if my memory serves me correctly, you can walk off down that footpath over there. This is where Station Hill at Pound Hill becomes Billington Drive in Maidenbower. You can go off down that footpath there across a sports field, I think, and join the um, Dishes Railway Line come cycle track, come footpath. There is also another access point to it just up here if I'm remembering it correctly yeah this is the the other access point and uh, it's uh, advertised as the Crawley cycle route and uh, this sign if you can read that seven miles to East Grinstead half a mile to Worth and um, I did walk about halfway along there on one occasion before. I didn't get as far as East Grinstead. I put about halfway to East Grinstead and then had to come back again. But it was it was pretty good, although I would say to a certain extent it's a bit of a work in progress. There was some housing developments over some of it, if memory serves me right. We had to come off and kind of go through a housing estate. But uh, maybe I just went wrong on the day, I'm not sure. But... Um, it was uh, it's worthy of a little trip down there although I do recall uh, the time when I went down there it had, it was either a wet day or it had been raining heavily very recently and it was quite muddy in places so just bear that one in mind you wouldn't have that problem today it's not rained here for months properly although I didn't go off towards the worth line this direction along this road is also a cycle track and a decent footpath well away from the actual road itself. I'm going to be taking a left turn in uh, a few minutes away from this busy road, or busy, not quite so busy as the other one obviously, but it's still fairly busy. Still running parallel to the railway line just up there at the moment. Just have a little quick glance in here. It does show on the uh, the app I'm using the Maidenbower Pond. Which actually is uh, a pond, doesn't sound particularly great, does it? But it actually is quite pleasant looking. And that seems to be dried up down there. Although maybe it's one of those fake foliage coverings and you step on it and you go up to your neck in <laughs> in water it looks like it's uh, either been filled in and grassed over or, or it's just got a lot of weed floating on the top this is the Maidenbower pond it's not where the route takes me looks like you can carry on up that in that general direction Yeah, see how dry it's been. There's not much water flowing over. Over this sort of little weir affair. Oh, yeah. Okay, on we go. Okay, so as soon as the you get past the little stream or river there and the pond. This is where we take the left turn. Just down this alleyway. As I was slightly restricted on the amount of time I've got today, and um, I noted that if I put in another 15 or 
to 30 minutes it, it still sent me in this direction but to what appeared to be a lot more interesting areas around Maidenbough but I do not have the time for that today Those of you that are interested in such things, that little stream that uh, we just looked at near the Maidenbower Pond is the Gatwick stream. Of course, we are very close to Gatwick Airport here also. bridge over the stream left to right the app's telling me to go straight on and carry on down this public footpath and still running parallel to the Gatwick stream I suppose this is approximately a 10 to 15 minute walk from Three Bridges Station and it's quite nice now, good cover from the trees, from the sunshine. And effectively we've just crossed over the Gatwick stream and running, walking on the footpath on the other side of it now. It's just over there. Doesn't sound very appealing, does it, the Gatwick stream, but actually it's, uh, it's quite nice and there's some decent uh, habitats down there for small animals, insects and so on. In, um, I don't know how busy, well, sorry, how high this water gets at times, but there's the sandbags, sandbags there and concrete bags that are sort of shoring the bank up, so maybe it uh, gushes down quite a lot sometimes. Certainly not doing that at the moment because it's been very, very dry for the last two months, really. Yeah, this walk seems to be in the main, following the stream. I'm just going to uh, cross over, I think it was Westminster Road. I see a sign now, I think it was Westminster Road, uh, to Cranmer Walk, Maidenbough. So, uh, irrespective of previous comments about Crawley, I can't really, can't really change those. But this is close to Crawley, and uh, if you want to find somewhere nice to walk, then it is possible. Yeah, just looking at the high sides of the stream, 
and the shoring up that's gone on here with the concrete or sandbags and uh, I think this must gush down here quite uh, quite uh, viciously when there's been a lot of rain it's certainly as I say it's not doing that now because of uh, the fact it's been very dry a little bit here where you can actually get down to the edge of the stream doesn't look like it'll be particularly appealing to paddle in to be to be uh, completely honest with you but uh, I dare say a few dogs must run in there right let's continue I've um, possibly rejoined the disused railway line here. I'm not a hundred percent certain. It doesn't make it quite clear on the railway, on the um, on the app. Might be wrong. Must be a school over there, I think, or a uh, play school or crash. Strangely, the app uh, mentions the Cranbrook Nursery to my left, so the uh, kiddies I can hear playing over there, that must be from there. Not sure if this is the old railway line or not, it seems slightly too windy for that. Well, that path could have uh, been altered dramatically when all these houses were built. Coming to the end of the footpath now, I'm going to be going on to Maidenbower Road, uh, taking a right turn, heading back towards Three Bridges Station. Now, if I'd had another 15, 20 or 30 minutes or so to add to this walk, I think this is the point it would have continued on up the footpath there. When I put it up to 90 minutes and reduced it down to 60, I was pretty sure this was the point where it came back to. So that'll be for another day because I don't have time for that today. Well, that was a nice walk through um, the public footpath, well covered by trees, nice and cool. And uh, next to a, sl well, a heading towards being dried up stream. As this is a circular walk, I have to continue in a circular fashion and uh, just along here I'm going to take another right turn down another public footpath. I'm travelling back in a roughly a northern northerly direction now. In a, the general direction of Three Bridges Station. Again, another footpath here. So I've uh, not found before. So thank you again, the Go Jauntly app, for finding these little routes. Oh, 
Well, I'm guessing Maidenbower is quite an expensive place to live uh, due to its uh, proximity to London, Gatwick and Brighton and the mainline railway station. Probably a 15 minute walk from where I am right now. Maybe 20. A lot of the houses around here, the ones I've walked around today anyway, are appear to be relatively new. Well, all I can say to you is this, if you uh, are in the Three Bridges station area and want to take a walk, during the day really, um, that doesn't involve walking down a dual carriageway um, with cars and buses and so on clattering by morning, noon and night, then take this little walk up towards Maidenbower and back. I can hear the busy main road to my left there. But this is an excellent I'm not quite sure which one I'm supposed to go now, but I refer back to the app quickly. Right, so um, a left turn here takes me out onto the main road. It will take me straight back down to Three Bridges Railway Station. The one we started off on, or the one where we took a right turn up the hill. This will take me back and rejoin the path that I was on about 30 minutes ago. Um, so oh, I'm going to follow the app, although instinct tells me to actually take that route and uh, double back on myself slightly. If you care for a little wander through these woods, uh, you can come to Blackwater Forge, apparently. And we're back to the uh, Maidenbower Pond, is it? That's where we originally took the left turn off this road, uh, all through the public, public footpath and through the woods and back round. And had I carried on just back there in the woods, straight on instead of turning left, I would have ultimately have come back out here. That wasn't much of a, a diversion. And uh, now it's just a case of the last... Um, half a mile or so back to Three Bridges Station. All right, well, there you go. Almost back to Three Bridges Station. That's uh, pretty much just up to my left above me here. Uh, when we get to this road here, it's a right turn under the railway bridges and into Three Bridges Railway Station. So once again, thanks to the Go Jauntly app, I've uh, found a nice 60 minute walk I can do from here that takes me to the greener, let's say just greener parts of uh, this corner of England, uh, which has got to be more preferable than attempting to walk along a dual carriageway or busy main road any time, any day. And um, I grant you, all things are relative, so if you're, uh, you're in a town, it's never gonna be particularly green, but that app does send you down the best route. So thanks for that. That's uh, another one to put on my list. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you can hear me above all this noise. Now we're back near the main road. Uh, if you did, then press, press like. Subscribe if you want to see some more. There's a couple more on Crawley that you might be interested in. And uh, hope to see you again soon. Have a nice day. <laughs>